Safety glasses are a lot like an insurance policy. You hope you never need it, but it's there in case you do. We have a bunch of different safety glasses brands to test and a very exciting day planned out for Einstein here. So let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. After we give Billy Ray a mullet, we'll see which glasses stick and which glasses slip when he pulls out some heavy duty dance moves. We'll see if the safety glasses shatter when they're hit with a steel ball that's traveling 238 miles per hour. We'll test the lens strength when we drop a one inch steel ball on the glasses. We'll really put these brands to the test when our test dummy gets hit by a steel rod. At $3.50, the least expensive safety glasses brand we'll be testing is this Cruise Bearcat. Single lens designed with integral side shields for unobstructed view. Filters 99.9% .9 of UV rays. Non-slip hybrid black temple sleeve. The nose piece is made of a gel and is very soft. At 26.5 grams, the safety glasses are pretty light. The Cruise brand claims to be fog resistant and it actually did a great job resisting fog. To measure scratch resistant, I'll be using a pick that has weight added for a total of approximately 32 grams of downward force on the pointed end of the pick, which is very close to the same weight of the glasses that we'll be testing. Now this test is a very subjective measure. A rating of zero indicates no scratches or extremely small scratches. A rating of one is a mild scratch, two moderate, and three severe. The Cruise Bearcat experienced a lot of damage with a grade three scratch. At a price of only $5.87 is this Bullhead Pompano brand. Lightweight full frame style with eight base curve and sleek arms featuring full protection. Exceeds ANSI Z87. Anti-scratch hard coating treated lens. The temple ends are not as flexible as the Cruise brand. The Bullhead has a TPR nose piece and temple ends, made in Taiwan. The Bullhead weighs 27.3 grams, about one gram more than the Cruise Bearcat. The Bullhead Pompano resisted fogging. The Bullhead Pompano definitely did a better job than the Cruise, but still experienced a grade two scratch. The third least expensive brand we'll be testing at $5.90 is this Bullhead Paven Clear TPR Temple Tips. Lightweight and contoured design can guarantee snug, comfortable fit. The temple ends are very soft. The Bullhead Paven is the lightest yet at only 22.4 grams. The Bullhead does not claim to be fog resistant and as you can see, they fog pretty quickly. The Bullhead Paven did the best yet with a level one scratch. We'll be testing two different pairs of DeWalt safety glasses. The first pair costs $7.26. It's the DeWalt Reinforcer Clear Lens High Performance Protective Glasses with Rubber Temples, made in Taiwan. The rubber nose piece actually seems fairly soft and flexible. The DeWalt Reinforcer weighs nearly the same as the Cruise Bearcat glasses at 26.6 grams. The DeWalt glasses are not fog resistant. The DeWalt did a terrific job experiencing only grade one scratches. The second set of DeWalt glasses we'll be testing is this DeWalt Auger Safety Glasses at a price of $9.31. Full wraparound design, no slip temple ends. The DeWalt Auger has a fairly soft rubber nose piece. It's quite a bit heavier than the competition at 34.9 grams. The DeWalt glasses are not fog resistant. The pick caused grade two scratches. At a price of only $7.99 is this 3M Virtua Safety Glasses with clear frame and clear polycarbonate anti-scratch hard coated lens. Wrap around design provides extended eye protection. Made in Taiwan. The temple ends are made of plastic. The nose piece is also made of plastic. The 3M glasses are really light at 23.3 grams. While the Amazon website lists the 3M glasses as anti-fog, they actually fogged up pretty quickly. The 3M did by far the best yet with as close to a zero as possible. At a price of $9.99 is this Bhutan Answer clear anti-scratch anti-fog lens with black frames. Bayonet temples with flexible rubber tips. Soft rubber nose pads help keep glasses in place. The Booten Answer is very light at 23.4 grams. The Booten glasses did a great job at resisting fogging. The Booten Answer experienced a grade two scratch. At a price of $14.03 is this Booten Optical Clear Safety Glasses. Anti-fog and scratch resistant. The temple ends are made of plastic. The nose piece is also made of plastic. Unlike the other glasses we'll be testing, this one has a foam lining. The Booten glasses are heavier than average at 32.4 grams. They also did a great job resisting fogging. While most of the fog resistant lenses seem very susceptible to deep scratches, these actually did very well with only grade one scratches. If you're really concerned about style and fashion, you'll probably want to spring the $14.31 required to buy this Bouton traditional set of safety glasses. Anti-fog and scratch resistant. The Bouton traditional glasses are the heaviest yet at 38.6 grams. They did a great job resisting fogging. The Bouton traditional glasses experienced grade two scratches. We'll be testing two different sets of UVX safety glasses. The first set costs $10.09. The UVX Hypershock is made in Taiwan. Anti-fog, anti-scratch lenses. There's a soft rubber lining along the bottom of the temple ends. The nose piece is made of a fairly soft rubber. 
The Uvis glasses were heavier than average at 31.1 grams. They did a great job at resisting fogging. Just like most of the other anti-fog lenses, these experienced grade 2 scratches. At a price of $10.10 .10, is this Uvix Genesis anti-fog anti-scratch. The Uvix glasses are made in USA. Soft, flexible nose fingers reduce slippage and comfort to almost any nasal profile. Adjustable temple length and lens inclination for a custom fit. The Uvix Genesis glasses weighed approximately 32.3 grams. The glasses are advertised on Amazon as having an anti-fog coating but fog quite a bit. The Uvex experienced grade 2 scratches. We'll be testing two different types of Carhartt safety glasses. The first one, the Carhartt Carbondale, cost $10.63. Dual injected straight back temples. Scratch resistant polycarbonate and provides 99% UV protection. Flexible rubber nose piece. Flexible dual injected temples. The Carhartts were heavier than average at 32.2 grams. They did a great job at resistance to fogging. The Carhartt Carbondale experienced grade 2 scratches. Costing $10.99 is this Carhartt Spokane. Unique half frame design for active lifestyle. Scratch resistant polycarbonate. Dual injected straight back temples. Flexible rubber nose piece. The Carhartts were pretty light at 25.9 grams. They are not advertised as fog resistant and did experience quite a bit of fogging. The Carhartt Spokane did great on a scratch test with only a grade 1 scratch. Why bother with safety glasses when you can just spring for a nice set of sunglasses like this Mary's brand costing $14.91. These sunglasses are not ANSI rated or designed for any sort of impact. The Mary sunglasses only weighed 24.6 grams. They experienced quite a bit of fogging. The sunglasses did the best yet on the scratch test, not showing any signs of scratches and earning a grade zero. One trend that I've noticed throughout the testing is that glasses with anti-fog lenses seem to scratch easier than glasses without the anti-fog coating. The assessment of scratch damage is pretty subjective. The 3M seems to have done the best yet with a rating of zero, but the Booten Z12F Bullhead Paven car Carhartt Spokane and the DeWalt Reinforcer did well. In the high velocity impact test, we'll see how the glasses hold up when they're impacted with a .177 caliber steel ball traveling at 238 miles per hour. In order to pass this test, the lens of the glasses cannot detach from the frames, fragments of the lens cannot hit the mannequin, and no part of the glasses can hit the eye. The mannequin that we've named Billy Ray will be inside of a see-through plastic case. Let's begin with a couple of pairs of sunglasses to see how they perform before we begin testing the ANSI Z87 rated safety glasses. Wow, the sunglasses shattered and the glass fragments made contact with the mannequin and glass fragments are in the eye. Definitely did not meet the ANSI Z87 standards. Let's move on to some sunglasses with a plastic lens. Wow, the impact of the steel ball caused the lens to separate from the frames. This pair of glasses also failed the test. Let's move on and test safety glasses beginning with the Cruise Bearcat. The ball bounced off of the lens leaving a small dent but the Cruise Bearcat passed the test. Let's test the Bullhead Pompano next. Just like the Cruise Bearcat, the Bullhead Pompano did a great job. Compared to the Cruise Bearcat, the frames of the glasses didn't seem to move nearly as much. The Bullhead Paven did a great job withstanding the blow. The damage to the lens is very similar to the Bullhead Pompano. The DeWalt Reinforcer did a great job on this test. There was a very small amount of damage to the lens. The Dwell Auger with a full frame design seemed to move a lot less compared to the clear frame and the partial frame designs. There was a small amount of damage to the lens. The 3M did just as well as all of the previous brands. However, the amount of damage to the lens actually seems to be a little bit smaller than the previous brands tested. The Booten Answer glasses seem to perform similar to the Dwell Reinforcer. Even the dent in the lens looks to be about the same size. The Booten Z12F did about the same as the Booten Answer, experiencing very minor damage to the lens. The frame on the Booten Traditional is built like a tank and didn't seem to move as much as the other Bootens tested. The size of the dent seems to be about average and the anti-fog coating appears to have cracked. The Uvex definitely seemed to do the best yet. The frames experienced very little movement from the impact and there's hardly any visible damage to the lens. The Uvex Genesis glasses seemed to do nearly as well as the full framed ones, experiencing very little frame flexing. There's hardly any visible damage to the lens. Garhart Carbondale seemed to perform about the same as most of the other brands with regard to the amount of damage to the lens. The Carhartt Spokane seemed to perform about the same as the Carhartt Carbondale. There was very minor damage to the lens. Wow, the lens on the sunglasses really flexed quite a bit, but fortunately, the lens stayed intact. There's a very small amount of damage to the lens. While all of the safety glasses passed this test, the Uvex brand seems to have done slightly better than the rest of the competition. In order for safety glasses to protect your eyes, they've got to fit well and stay on your face. Fortunately, Billy Ray, a former heavy metal rocker, has some fantastic head moves that'll put each brand to the test.
and Billy Ray shook loose the crew's Bearcats before he could really get into his dance moves. They don't call him bullheads for nothing. Billy Ray had to pull out some advanced moves on this brand. Very impressive. Billy Ray's head banging moves were way too much for the bullhead Paven. The Duat reinforcers seem to do about as well as the bullhead Pompano. Billy Ray's moves were just way too sick for the Dwelt Auger. The 3M wasn't expecting moves like this. The Putin answer just didn't have a chance. Billy Ray's moves were just way too powerful for the boot and Z12Fs. The boot and classics not only look fantastic, they also provide a great fit. The Uvix held on extremely well, but Billy Ray's moves were just way too much. The Uvix Genesis did fine until Billy Ray went into full thrash mode. The Carhartt Carbondales not only look stylish on Billy Ray, they stayed along for the ride about a second longer than average. Watch out, Billy Ray just launched the Carhartt spoke cans across the room. It's all fun and games until Billy Ray goes heavy metal on the sunglasses. In order to meet ANSI standards, a one inch steel ball is dropped from 50 inches onto the lens. The lens should not detach or make contact with the eye. I'll be placing some mustard on test dummy Einstein's eye so we can see if the lens makes contact with it. Fortunately, all the lenses pass this test. However, safety glasses with full frames definitely seem to handle the blow a lot better than glasses with a partial or see-through frame. The partial and see-through frames seem to twist and bend, making a projectile more likely to deflect and then make contact with other parts of the face. To meet safety standards, glasses have to withstand a blow from a pointed 500 gram steel rod dropped from 50 inches. Let's begin with a couple pairs of sunglasses. Unfortunately, the lens popped out of the sunglasses and the lens also broke. They definitely do not meet the standards. Just like the first set of sunglasses, the lens popped out. Definitely a bad day for test dummy Einstein. Fortunately, all of the ANSI rated safety glasses passed this test. However, not all glasses performed equally. As we saw in the previous test, glasses with a full frame definitely seem to provide much more stability than glasses with a partial or see-through frame. While the partial and see-through frame glasses withstood the blow from the pointed rod, compared to the full frame glasses, they were much more likely to shift position, allowing the rod to make contact with the test dummy. While highly subjective, my opinion is that the Bullhead Pompano, DeWalt Auger, Booten Z12F, and Carhartt Carbondale did the best.
after doing the testing, one thing that's for certain, ANSI rated safety glasses are definitely better than nothing. Now with all that being said, I really hope that this video encourages more people to wear safety glasses when in the shop or doing things that may include risk. Regarding the different brands, I'm really impressed with Uvex. It really did a great job in the testing. But I also like the Carhartt Carbondale as well as the Bullhead Pompano. All the video ideas on this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested, so I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.